A lot of teams have design systems that include different fonts, icons, symbols, and more. But most of their design systems are static and do not cover interactions. However, with interaction libraries, you can create dynamic prototypes even faster than before. By sharing the same interaction library, a team can ensure the consistency of the entire product experience. So, Let's take a look at how to build an interaction library within Protopy. Before we start building one by ourselves, let's first take a look at the public libraries. These contain default libraries that are provided in Protopy, including iOS and material design components. By clicking on it, you can see all the included components. OK, so how do you use libraries to create interactive prototypes? Simply drag and drop the components into a scene, adjust the size, override the content, and then add interactions to connect each component. Done! Now let's build one by ourselves. If you want to create completely new interactions, simply add your triggers and responses and assign them to your objects. You can now turn your interaction into a component by clicking this component button. This means that you can easily reuse them again in the future. This is the component panel where all your components are stored. If you want to use one, just drag and drop it. If you want to share a component, first add your components to a library, then share this library with your colleagues. Now, Let's learn how to create libraries. In Protopy, there are three types of libraries. If you want to share components with team members, you need to add the components to your team library first. Click this plus button to create a new library and select which team you want to share it with. Then a new window will open. Now, remember that this is a library file window, not a new Pi file. This means that everything you edit here will be saved on the cloud, not locally. To add an existing local component to this library, simply copy from the Pi file and paste it in the library window. Or you can simply create components inside the library file window. Finally, you can write a guide for each component that explains how to use it. After you finish editing the library, don't forget to save before clicking the Publish button. This means that all library members will see the latest version of each component. Libraries enable all the editors on your team to make prototypes using the same components. With Protopy, you can easily build an interaction design system for your team, leaving nothing to interpretation. See you in the next tutorial.